Hello everyone, welcome to the second what I spend in a week video on my channel. You guys seem to love the last one and I think it's really interesting honestly myself to see what other people are spending in a week around the world. So for those who don't know me, my name is Maddie and I'm a student in London and I live in central London. And I create content about lifestyle, living in London, and being a student. So if you want to follow along, then make sure to click that subscribe button. So in today's video, we will be going through my weekly expenses. I spent the last week vlogging and tracking everything that I spent. So the video will be in pounds and everything will be based on what I spend in a week. So when I tell you my rent, my Wi-Fi costs, grocery spending, all of it will be based on what I would spend if it was only for a week. So without further ado, let's get right to it. So the first thing we have to look at when exploring what I spend in a week is what I spend on my set expenses. And keep in mind also all these are split with my flatmate, so that makes my bills a little bit less expensive than if I was just paid alone. So on rent, I spend 270 pounds a week. On my phone subscription, I pay 2.5 pounds. For my insurance, I pay about 4.5 pounds a week. It's in total about 200 pounds per year. For my Wi-Fi, I pay two pounds a week. It's not the best Wi-Fi but it works. For water, we pay around 3.7 pounds a week. And for gas and electricity, I pay around 10 pounds a week. This has definitely gone up during the colder months and I'm expecting this to go up a little bit more also towards the colder winter months because you do spend more on heating. So in total for all bills, I pay around 290.7 pounds a week. But I do wanna note though, for anyone who's looking to study in London or move here, you will probably be looking to spend around the same for your phone, insurance, Wi-Fi, water, and gas. But for your rent, we do live in in zone one which is the most expensive part of London that you can live in so if you want to save on your rent and it's definitely possible to do so live in zone two or three yeah it'll be a lot cheaper next up for my set expenses are my subscriptions and in my last video you guys gave me so many good tips on how to save on my subscriptions which I'm so thankful for so I've gone through everything that you guys suggested and I updated my budget with it so first I had a normal Spotify subscription that I've always had I just continued having it when I started uni but you guys recommended that I got the student subscription from Spotify, which means I'm now paying 1.4 pounds a week instead of like the 2.5 I was paying before. That was very convenient. I was also paying quite a lot for my Canva subscription. Canva is like an editing software where I edit most of my thumbnails. I also do presentations for uni there and everything in between. Now I'm paying zero pounds a week. I'm paying around 3.25 pounds for a masterclass, which is a learning platform online with like really cool, influential presenter teachers. I also pay one pound for subscribing to my insurance company because it's a student organization. So you have to be subscribed to them to have their student insurance basically. I also pay one pound a week for my MasterCard, which enables me to get points every time I shop. That way I save up points for flying. So the past times I've flied, I actually haven't used my own money. I've just used my points and I've never in my life been in MasterCard debt because I do not spend any more money than I have on my MasterCard. Super, super, super important. Be responsible with your MasterCard if you have one. I pay 1.3 pounds for my thematic license, which is the music that you're listening to in the background of this video. And I also pay 2.3 pounds for my subscription and lastly this is a new one I pay one pound a week for dancing I'm in the dance society of my university and I pay 20 pounds a year to be a member but they only have classes for 20 weeks of the year really really fun absolutely love it I love the dance classes and I do commercial and hip-hop for those wondering <laughs> and that is my set expenses so now let's get into the point of this video looking at exactly how much I spend in variable expenses for a week let's start with Sunday when I did my full grocery shop I'm on my way to the grocery shop I'm buying uh, breakfast for this week lunch for this week and then also dinner tonight so it'll be quite a big shop funny because we're currently at the time of year where there's both christmas treats and halloween decorations at the same time it's time to start all over and go for it because they don't even they don't even know me yet but that's something let's just on our way home from waitrose and you're going to waitrose now aren't you yes that's yeah that's awesome grocery shopping so I met this lovely girl do you want to shout out your um, Lena Hamdi so that's L-I-N-A-H-A-M-D-Y go follow her go check out her account um, it was really lovely to meet you it was so lovely I know this is a super simple meal but I was super hungry I had no energy to cook today so it cost three pounds pre-made this will be my dinner for tonight it's super tasty final venture of the day we're going to the cinema Ooh, that is my boyfriend probably asking where i am because i'm so late but uh yeah we're going to watch the front dispatch and i'm super excited
So on Sunday, in total, I spent 55 pounds and 21 cents. And I do want to note that I've never gone to a more expensive cinema in my whole life. It wasn't either book the tickets. I always, when I go to the cinema and I watch like every single movie in London this way, I get two Vu tickets for seven pounds. I'm not going to the cinema again. <laughs> Currently heading to Pretz because I have the Pretz subscription, which gives me five coffees a day for 20 pounds a month. Part of an apple because I'm a sucker for snacks. Good morning. I figured I could show you guys today a little bit about what my breakfast consists of because I didn't really show you guys that yesterday. I just said that I spend nothing on breakfast because I don't spend anything on breakfast. I just use what I have. Step number one: porridge. This porridge costs literally nothing. I think I pay like a pound per kilo, which is crazy. I have a spoon, and because it's now officially autumn, I put apple and cinnamon um, jam on. I wish I could buy something else a little bit cheaper than this. However, I can't find apple and cinnamon jam in this country. It's quite common in Norway, but I can't find it here, so this is the only thing I could find. <laughs> Is my coffee, which I already pre made from the coffee machine, and I always add a bit of oat milk to that. Finally, in the morning, I like to have a glass of smoothie, blueberries, peaches, and apples, and my brown sugar. That's my breakfast. On Tuesday, in total, I spent 14.1 pounds. day today I did go to the dentist to do a little checkup earlier today but I'm not gonna charge that as this week's cost I don't go to the dentist every single week that's more of like a spread out cost I go to the dentist once a year twice a year but I've just been eating the food that's in my fridge I went out to get a coffee at Pret with my Pret subscription earlier and I've just been eating carrots and I had some toast for lunch and I've been studying all day on my kitchen table but I'm super excited because in about 20 minutes me and Theo are going to watch a show which is super exciting we got the tickets for free I sought out some free Free TV shows that we could go watch because often they have free TV shows you can come watch because they need an audience for these TV shows. So me and Theo are gonna watch a TV show called Skavlan and it's aired in Norway and Sweden. So super cool. I've watched that show since I was a kid. Um, and I think we get free food and free drinks. card expenditure I paid 15.3 pounds. And I was really sad about the point that they didn't actually give us real food at the um, show that we went to because they said so but we just got chips. I'm going to the library today. Look at this weather though it's so good I'm so happy. My plan for today is studying. I'm gonna go eat lunch with my boyfriend. I'd say it's a very normal study day today. Just gonna be in the library read all that boring stuff. I do walk to uni and the library every single day when I do go, so I don't spend any money on public transport, which is super convenient for me because public transport is quite expensive. I used to have the monthly public transport card and it cost me 93 pounds per month. Long we don't even get along, but the world just fell apart straight out of the blue. So in my mind I whisper child and I take myself to Tuscany. On Thursday, I spent a total of 3.32 pounds. I've had the most boring day today, but I think it's Guy Fox Day or something. There's fireworks everywhere. You can't see them from my window. But I did go to the grocery shop and I got some stuff. 
some diced chicken. Our Friday, including my going out, I spent a total of 29.50, and the majority of this is because of the little birthday that I went to, which is super fun. Don't regret it, but the drinks were definitely super expensive. And that's a very common thing for London. You'll be paying around 10 pounds per drink that you order, even though there's like a super small drink. So drink at home, don't drink out if you want to save money. Okay, guys. I know you're probably super tired of seeing videos of me at the library because it's everything I do these days, it feels like. But I was super hungry, so I decided I would go down to the bottom floor of the building and get some snack. Like I thought maybe Oreos or like a small like biscuit or something. There is actually well-being week right now because we have like our midterms and our essays due, which is why I'm spending so much time at school. And they were having an event where we gave up tons of free stuff and because I love free stuff I did pick up literally everything that was there I got a free pizza slice I also got this bag so let me do a little haul popcorn biscuits lavender so many pencils some tea and ginger biscuits also got some free paper and stuff but yeah super happy about that Saturday in total I spent no money at all I just ate what I had um, for lunch and for dinner and I got all the free stuff from school and that was everything that I spent in a week so let's go through the category and see how much I spent on each category are you ready so on groceries for the full week I spent 45 pounds and 36 cents I went to Sainsbury's and Waitrose for most of my grocery shopping because that's the two stores where I live and so obviously I could walk 20 minutes to Tesco but this is the closest to where I live on eating out which includes snacks and takeaway and lunches I spent 23 pounds and 27 cents and I want to emphasize that in my last video I spent around 50 on eating out and 55 on groceries so my expenditure has actually gone down very proud of that but it has gone up on other things which is entertainment so in total entertainment this week I spent 44 pounds on transportation in total I spent 4.80 pounds and honestly this is a rarity for the past three months I've taken the tube like three times and that's all the categories and that leaves me to paying around 117.43 pounds a week in variable spending so if you look at all of my spending in total that equals drumroll <laughs> 419.37 pounds, which is actually very close to what I spent in the summer. It's about 10 pounds more. My variable spending has gone up around seven pounds, which I blame more social life and more events and all that stuff happening. My subscriptions have gone up about 50p, a consequence of you guys telling me so many smart hacks to save money on my subscriptions, but also spending money on the Pred subscription. I do enjoy that one. And then my bills have gone up about 2.5 pounds a week. What's funny when you look at these numbers is that 64% of everything I spend is on my rent. I paid a very similar amount to what I pay now in my first year, like small dorm. So I definitely feel like I'm getting more value from money, but it is still a lot of money to spend, but I'm super happy here and I can walk everywhere I want because I live so central. And also it's the best place to film YouTube videos for you guys and to do my job. I really love it here and I, I wouldn't change it. So yeah, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.